All right, let's go and simplify this thing. Uh, it didn't say to rationalize the denominator, so maybe we don't have to worry about it. We'll find out. Let's go and take a look at this, though. First, let's go and apply the, I guess, like that division of the radicals backwards. So let's make this one large cube root where we've got 81 x to the power of 13 y to the power of 4 all over 3 x to the power of 7 and y. And yes, I did separate those specifically on purpose in columns uh, so that we can divide these. So 81 divided by 3, I get 27. And this would be x to the power of 13 divided by x to the power of 7. So 13 minus 7 is uh, 6. And then y to the power of 4 minus y to the power of 1. I'm sorry, divided. So I'm going to subtract the exponents. 4 minus 1 is 3. Now this is all cube rooted, which means I can separate these. The cube root of 27 times the cube root of x to the power of 6 times the cube root of y cubed. All right. Well, starting with the cube root of 27, this is the cube root of 3 times 3 times 3, which gives us a triple 3's, which is going to factor out a 3. And then the x's, that's a cube root of x times x times x times x times x times x, which would give us two sets of x, so that's x times x. And then finally, the y's, that's going to be the cube root of y times y times y, which is a triple y's, and that would pull out one y. So simplifying this fully, let's just pull this up, that would give us 3 times x squared times y.